In this class, we will try to solve a problem on transmission line. Let us try to understand the problem first. It is being said that there is a transmission line which is lossless, right? We have to find the voltage standing wave ratio for the 60 ohm line. If I look at the figure, you can see that there is a load here, ZL is 30 ohm. For that segment, the characteristic impedance is 30 root 2. There is another part which is nothing but short circuited. The length of that short circuit, this segment, if you observe, is lambda by 8 and the characteristic impedance for this segment is nothing but 30. Now, if I look here, the characteristic impedance at this part is 60. How are we going to solve? We are going to solve in this way. I am going to find the input impedance. Let me call as ZA here. And I am going to find the input impedance at this point. Let me call as ZB. Once I have Z and ZB, then I will proceed to this problem. Okay. How I can find the ZA here? So, first part is to finding the ZA. ZA is nothing but if I look from this side, if I look from here, what is the input impedance? I look into the circuit, right? So, I have to look it from here. Now, what is the length of this transmission line of this segment? It is lambda by 4, right? And I already know that if the transmission line is of length lambda by 4, then the input impedance will be Z0 square by ZL, right? So, in this case, it would be Z0 square by ZL, right? What is Z0 square? It is 30 root 2. So, it would be 30 root 2 the whole square divided by ZL. What is the ZL? ZL is 30. So, if I simplify this, this become 30 into 30 to so this become 60 ohm, right? The next part is finding the ZB. But if I look at the ZB part, it is a short circuit and we have already know that what would be the input impedance of a short circuit? It is nothing but JZ0 tan beta L, right? So, for my ZB, the input impedance will be J Z0 tan beta L, right? This we have already seen in the previous videos. So, this would be J Z0 is how much? 30 tan beta L, ok? Let us substitute the tan beta L values here. So, it is nothing but J 30 tan beta is 2 pi by lambda. So, 2 pi by lambda. What is the length here? Length is lambda by 8, right? So, if I solve this, lambda lambda get cancelled, this 2 gets become 4. So, this will become actually J 30 tan pi by 4. And tan pi by 4 is nothing but 1, right? So, this comes out to be J sorry, plus J30, right? So, I got ZA and I got ZB. So, I got ZA here, which is nothing but input impedance. If I look at this point, I got the ZB. If I look at the input impedance at this point. Now, how the ZA and ZB are connected? If I look, if any current is flowing here, the same current will flow in here also. It means what? ZA and ZB are in series, right? So, let me call another impedance. If I look at this point, Right? So, that will be called as, let me call as Z equivalent load, new load. So, which comes out to be what? ZA plus ZB, right? Because ZA and ZB are in series, right? So, let us calculate that out. So, this would be nothing but, what is ZA? 60 plus 30J. And this would be Z equivalent load. Right? So, I got this. So, let me redraw this circuit. Once I have Z equivalent load, what would be the circuit looking like? So, if I redraw the circuit, it will look like this, a new load. Right? And this will be nothing but your Z equivalent load. Right? This is what is your Z naught, which is nothing but this. 60, right? Now, what I need to find? I have to find the VSWR, right? What will be the VSWR? We already know what is VSWR, right? I will rub this for time being and then we will conclude from here.
we know that Vs WR is nothing but 1 plus mod tau by 1 minus mod tau, right. So, first thing is I need to get the tau. Tau is nothing but my reflection coefficient, right. So, how I can get the reflection coefficient? Reflection coefficient would be given by for this circuit is nothing but Z equivalent L minus Z naught by Z equivalent L plus Z naught, right. That's we all already seen in the previous videos, right, how we have derived the reflection coefficient. If I substitute the values, this would become 60 plus 30j minus z0 which comes out to be 60 in this case divided by 60 plus 30j plus 60 right. So, this will become or I can say tau would become 60, 60 get cancelled. So, it will be 30j divided by 120 plus 30j right. Now, what I need to do is I need to know the mod tau. I do not need the angle part. I only need the magnitude part right. You can easily calculate this is a complex quantity right. You can easily calculate the mod tau right. So, what I need to calculate is mod tau right. What would be mod tau? If you solve this what you will get mod tau is 0.24 right precisely it will be 0.2425 right. So, once I have mod tau problem is done right I can easily substitute here and I can find it out right. Let us complete the VSWR part also. So, this would be nothing but 1 plus 0 0.245. 1 minus 0 0.2425 right. Just you need to just uh, solve this. If you solve this what you will get is 1.64. So, we have find it out V s w r for this problem which comes out to be 1.64.